What's up, YouTube? First of all, I want to apologize that Nathan and I have been away so long. Um, both of us are pulling double vocation duty, and that has been hectic this summer. And we want to apologize that we have not been putting out videos. That being said, uh, we have no plan on stopping, uh, no plan on slowing down. It's just really, really busy time right now. So, and there's a bunch of videos already recorded waiting to be edited, uh, full length ones. So be patient with us and, and we appreciate everybody sticking with us. Anyways, on that note, I thought today we could do a quick rough cut on marriage. So first of all, a couple things about marriage. Marriage is ordained by God, right? So marriage is between one man and one woman as Jesus defined it. And you cannot leave marriage there's no option of divorce. Divorce is not on the table except on the grounds of adultery. And this is by the words of our Lord himself. That being said, it's still better to forgive if you can. Uh, such a case would uh, take a lot of pastoral care and whatnot. But when we're looking at marriage, we're looking at a picture of Christ and the church. That's what marriage is. That's how Paul defines it in Ephesians. The husband represents Christ and the wife represents the church. So to you men out there, you have an obligation to cover all of your wife's sins. I'll repeat that. To you men out there, you have an obligation to cover all of your wife's sins, me included. That's what Christ does for the church. He covers all our sins. We are blameless through word and sacrament. We've been baptized. We have no more sin. We're married to Christ, the church. But husbands, cover all your wife's sins. Now, if your wife has uh, some major sins going on, obviously that takes pastoral care, but that's between her, you, and the pastor. That's not between you and the rest of the world. Your job is to make sure that she's blameless. Wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. God has made men and women different, and for good reason. Um, men have the headship. They have the role. We're designed different, and uh, like today, I have been on the roof, a roof, all week framing for a customer. Framing, reshingling, and all that. And I would not want my wife or my daughter or any other female up there. That's not to say... Uh, that they can't do it. They just shouldn't do it. It's miserable for a man to do. But the thing is, is I have a totally different skill set and physical strengths than my wife does. So when it comes time for me to make decisions such as uh, being the head of the home and paying bills and spiritual being the most important, uh, those are my calls for my family. So when I say, hey, we're going to church on Sunday, every Sunday, no excuses, that's my call. And wives need to submit to that. Now, if you have a husband that says, well, you don't need to go to church or whatever, then wives, you have an obligation to obey the first three commandments before you obey your husband. And uh, that's the order of commands there. So, I mean, you've got to obey God rather than men. So there are situations. But again, you need to be under pastoral care uh, to rightly understand, you know, when and what those situations are. So my point being is we don't want to be like Adam. Everybody wonders where Adam was when Eve ate the fruit. Adam was standing right there. And Adam watched Eve eat to see what was going to happen. Um, I know, it's, it's pretty bad. I like to think that, that we would do different. But Adam had definitely sinned before he ate the fruit. He had sinned already in his heart when he decided to throw his wife under the bus. So husbands, cover your wife's sins. She's blameless before everybody. Love her like Christ loved the church. I'm not saying this is an easy thing. I'm going on uh, 14 years of marriage next month, and this marriage is, is not an easy thing. But if you think that love is this ushy, gushy, mushy feeling, and it's all about feelings, you're kind of missing the whole thing. It's not about feelings, it's about, um, I mean, some of it's about feelings, right? But a lot of it is about um, giving yourself over to that person entirely. 
So husbands and wives, you know, you need to give yourself over to the other person. Anyways, uh, I hope that kind of covers, you know, how it pictures Christ in the church and what the functions are. Uh, it's like a football game. You have a quarterback and you have a safety. Uh, you're both in the game, but both have different roles, you know, and that's how God's designing. Now, again, I don't encourage women to play football. Take my example and, and just leave it there. But um, it's a little bit law heavy. And, and I'll end on this note that, that when you both fail, because we, we fail, everybody fails, especially in marriage, make sure that you repent and receive absolution and carry on forward. Until next time, grace, yo. Now, you got to get out of here.